If you're facing problems with Steam and the app simply is not opening, I've prepared a list of solutions here that might help you out with that issue. Alright, so we'll be starting with the most basic troubleshoot of all, which is to just restart the app. And to ensure that Steam has properly closed, what you're going to want to do is head on over to Task Manager. If you don't have it in your, in your, in your pin over here, you can right-click your taskbar, just click Task Manager. And you want to head on over to any Steam um, clients that might be open, you want to sort by name, just click on name, right? And you just want to head on over to any Steam clients that might be open, and you want to right click and end task. So just all of these end task. So that'll close out your Steam. And as you can see, Steam is gone, it's closed, and you should be good. Then you just want to run Steam again, and that should potentially solve your problem. If that doesn't work, as you can see, Steam requires a Wi-Fi connection. If what I just showed you didn't work, it did not function, what you're going to want to do is ensure that you're actually connected to a Wi-Fi. As you can see here, I'm connected to a Wi-Fi, whether, um, whether it's wireless or wired. You've got to make sure you have a stable internet connection to actually run Steam. And um, if that didn't work for you, we'll move on to the next problem solver. So... Another very basic thing to do when your apps are not functioning is to try running them as administrator. Now what you want to do is you want to head on over to your Steam shortcut just like this. You want to right click on it, click on properties, and head on over to compatibility. And you want to select run this program as an administrator. Just like that. Hit apply, click OK, and then you want to restart Steam. I have it open, you just want to exit Steam, right? If, if yours is, oh, well yours wouldn't be open because your steam isn't working but you just want to click on uh the applies administrator and whenever you try to run steam it'll boot up as an administrator and that should potentially solve your issue but if that does not work if you're still running into problems steam just isn't opening uh you want to head on over to your keyboard and hold down the windows key and press r you'll bring up a little run window just like so and you want to type in uh steam colon uh, slash slash flush config I think that's it yep and you just want to click on okay click on anything that says yes you just click on yes and it'll clear your cache right it'll flush steam and it'll clear out any other um, backup files any kind of um, stored data that you don't need and your steam should boot up as normal so it'll open up just fine and that should potentially solve your issue. If not, we'll move on to the next step. Something else that might be throwing the old stick in the wheels is the fact that your device has outdated device drivers, right? And that could potentially be hindering Steam's functions and causing it to not open. So if you want to update your device drivers, you want to head on over to your Windows search bar. You want to type in Windows Update, just like that. Head on over to Windows Update Settings, just like so. And you can see I have a couple of uh, updates available for Windows. You should install these. These are good for you. They ensure that you're safe from all kinds of viruses and, and malwares. But that's not what we're doing right now. You want to head on over to Advanced Options. Click on Optional Updates. And you want to update your drivers over here. Just want to select them and then download and install. So after you do that, you want to restart your computer. And you want to try opening Steam again. That should potentially solve your issue. If not, we'll try something else. Alright, so the next potential solution would be opting out of Steam's beta program. Sometimes you can get opted for it without your consent, it can just do that for you. And if that is the case, that could be potentially why Steam is not opening. To stop this from happening, you want to head on over to your Steam shortcut, you want to right click on it, click on open file location, and you want to scroll up until you find a folder that's called package. This, this one right here. You want to open it and you'll see a folder in here called beta. I don't have one because I'm not opted for Steam beta, but you'll see a folder in here by the name of beta, just like so. I'll type it out. So when you open package, you'll have one that's like this. You just want to delete that folder, right? Just want to click delete, you'll delete that. You want to um, close out that file thing that I just had open, File Explorer, and you just want to open Steam again, and that should solve your problem. If not, we're going to try something a little extensive. We're going to try to repair Steam's files. And how you do that is you go to your search bar, type in CMD, and you want to run as administrator, just like so. 
click on yes, you'll get this little command prompt window. You want to type, um, well, at first you're going to want to go on over to Steam again, right? You have this open, that's fine, it's cool. You want to right click on Steam, you want to click on open file location, and you want to uh, copy this, right? This little header on top. You just want to click up here, control C, so you'll copy it, or you can right click and copy. And you want to head on over to your command prompt. You want to give a, uh, a little speech mark, a little speech opener, just like that. Just, there you go. And you want to control V, you'll get this. And then you want to backslash bin, backslash again, steam service, dot exe, and then you want to end quotation, just like that. The little speech marks, quotations, whatever you want to call them, that's what you want to do. You want to type in a, a space, uh, hit a slash, and then repair. I'm going to give you a second to look at it, this is what you want, right? So you copy paste that with the quotation at the front, at the back I mean. You want to end it with a quotation, a space, and then a slash repair. Then you just want to click enter. Give it a solid second. Okay, there you go. Give it a solid second. It'll repair Steam's files. Ensure that everything is there. Anything that might be bugged gets repaired. As you can see, repair completed. Cool. Now you just want to close out of this. Restart Steam, right? Just open it. And that should work. And if it doesn't, we'll move on to the final step. Now, I've shown you a lot of methods here today, and if absolutely none of them work for you, the final resort is to just uninstall Steam and reinstall it. This is the last ditch effort to make things work. So you want to go on over to your settings, right? You want to head on over to apps, just like so, installed apps, type in Steam. When you find Steam, just click on the little three dots, uninstall. You just want to click uninstall, click yes, and then you just want to uninstall. I'm not gonna because I don't need to, but you just want to click uninstall and then um, accept that. Then you want to go on over to your Chrome and uh, you want to go on over to Steam, download, and you just redownload Steam. Let's go on over to Steam's main website, install Steam, and that should get you the installer. It's not working for me. Oh, well. So that's what you want to do. And that would be it for me today. I hope these steps I've shown you have helped you out. And you were able to actually get your Steam up and running again. If not, you can drop me a comment. I'll try to help you out. You can describe your, your problem, your case. I'll attempt to help you out. And I will catch you guys a different time.